Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Killer McKnight, accompanied by our Queen Taylor. And we're going to be taking a look at more Lara, Fabian. And uh, this song title? Je t'aime. Je t'aime. Oh, je t'aime. <laughs> I'm not positive about that. Uh, so this has been highly requested. We've done a couple of Laura Fabian songs. Lara. 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 Lara Fabian songs. And out of her era, she's like my favorite singer uh, uh, from, you know, the big three. Right. I think that um, she's the best. She sounds amazing. We actually just listened to Across Endless Dimensions by Dimash. And I don't know about any of you guys. <laughs> and I keep saying it. And no one's commented about it. But I think that Dimash had a lot of Laura inf influences in that song. Like there was moments in there I was like. She's singing hearing him. her. I'm hearing her out of him. Um, so that's kind of what sparked, you know, us to do another Laura song, to be honest with you. Um, so we're going to be doing the Christina Papp video. Uh, it's got like 45 million views on it, which is highly deserved. I mean, I think this is going to be amazing. So it's the video we're watching right now. OK, I was like looking for that somewhere. Yeah, well, we got a full screen. So. Surprise. Okay. Surprise. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, let's hop on over to the music video and let's get started. She's setting up this performance perfectly. Oh, yeah. But, like, sitting on the steps right now. She knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. This is part of the performance. Which she's a master at. It, are all these people singing her song? <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, stop.
That's electrifying. It's like I don't even need to sing. Oh my god, it's breaking my heart. Seeing her get emotional because of the crowd's response is killing me. <laughs> I know. That's gotta be so amazing. Oh, they're all bowing. God. That was incredible. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever witnessed, probably in my entire life. She was in shock when they started singing over her. She's like, Are you going to let me sing? And she's just like looking at it. Like... <laughs> and I think her emotion throughout this entire performance, and then the fan response. Just singing along, singing the song. Yeah, that was incredible. It was incredible. Can you imagine being an artist and that was happening to you at that, a live show? Yeah, that's what I was thinking the whole time. Like, I feel like knowing the impact that you've made on people, you know, because like you go to concerts and people sing along to your songs because they enjoy it. it happens like, like at every show. Yeah, this was something so different. Like this was powerful. So beautiful. I can't even imagine like what she was feeling up there. I can't even <laughs> and seeing her get emotional based off the responses of her crowd. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It actually got me deep. Like it <laughs> tore me up. I know. I haven't seen you get that emotional ever. <laughs> it, it's not even the song. It was just the, what I was witnessing. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. Oh my God. I thought broken vow. Nothing could touch broken vow. Um, <laughs> Jetam. I think this performance, because th I'm so glad that we chose this video because there's like a hundred of these videos out mm -hmm. there. And I don't think that without the crowd interaction, I don't think it would have been as spectacular and special. It, it probably would have been. I'm, I'm just saying I'm glad that we chose this live concert to check out first. Yeah, I agree. <sighs> I think we still got to, you know, hear Lara and we know how incredible she is. But yeah, this is like a different side that we got to see that I think was just spectacular. I'm really, really glad that we went with this version. She is so good. Like, I can't stress that enough. She is so amazing and good. And I know like you, you hear that you, you hear people say and compliment you know, but like, I don't know how to express this, like. Her body language, the way she's able to tell and her emotions, but then her, she kicks in with her voice like mm -hmm. she is godlike, mm -hmm. like iconic. I don't and I, I think it's a shame that she's not spoken to in the same breaths of like Celine Dion and mariah carey which i guess mariah carey's like below before her time or share because again 
I think that Laura for me is my favorite yeah. out of those the big three, right? I agree. She's just superb. She's like the best. Out of this world good. And to be able to still sing like the way she does so beautifully through the emotion that she was feeling of like witnessing the crowd singing her song. Masterpiece. Yeah. You would think that she would be like, you know, choked up, like she wouldn't sound as good. No. She just powered through it and still I just don't know. She blows me away every time. At Juilliard, at schools, at music, they're all like learning about Laura. And this is masterclass. It's a masterclass, you guys. Anyways, that's our time. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Every single Laura video that we've done has been emotionally impactful mm -hmm. because she just brings that much emotion out mm -hmm. of you. And it's, I, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> But uh, because broken vow, she needed like a couple of days to recover off of broken vow. That's true. But that's our time. Again, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.